Good morning. Today is July 29, 2020. My name is Lilia, and today we're going to follow up with my QQQ J Lizard that was placed on July 8, 2020. Before I start today's lesson, I'd like to thank my Patreon members for making this video possible. And now I present to you our lesson for today. Today's video is part three of this series. I'm using the Think or Swim trading platform, which is part of TD Ameritrade. At the bottom of this page, you will see my J Lizard with the extra long put on the bottom as a hedge to the downside. This trade was placed on July 8, which was about 21 days ago. Let's come over all the way to the right hand side and take a look at the PL open and see what has happened since July 8. We can see here that my short put and my short call both have a lovely profit. My long put, on the other hand, has a loss and my long call also has a loss. So just for fun, let's add up the profits on the two short options. 264 plus 192.50. That equals $456.50. So what's interesting about this is that if I had simply done a short strangle, that means selling to open one short put and selling to open one short call. If I had done that, instead of this complex J lizard, my profit would be $456 right now. But by adding these hedges on the upside, and on the downside, my profit on this trade is only $106. So without the hedges, this strategy or this trade would have given me a profit that's $350 higher. So does that mean we should start placing short strangles without the protection of the long put and the long call? The answer is probably no for two reasons. If I didn't have the long put and the long call in this trade, the buying power effect would have been much higher than $1,600. That means without the added hedges, this trade would require a lot more margin. And the second reason is that it's pretty dangerous not to have the little protection on the downside and on the upside. And yes, the little protections do decrease your profits. But again, they are there to help you. And they are there to protect you. The initial credit on this trade is $4.37. I've got one contract. So that equals $437. Because this is a net credit trade, my maximum profit on this trade is simply the original credit of $437. And I will achieve that only if I hold this trade all the way until expiration, August 21st, and if the Q's stays below, I'm sorry, stays between my two short strikes. So it has to stay between 246 and 270. Right now it's trading at 260. I still have 22 days remaining in this trade. If you look at the probability ITM number, the short put and the short call have about a 26% chance of being in the money by expiration. So that is still acceptable. The question is, 
do we go ahead and close out this trade right now and take the profits? Again, the max profit is 437. My current profit of $106 is about 24% of the max profit. A trade like this where you have the long puts and the long calls as protections, it does take a little bit longer to get to the 50% mark. 50% of max profit. So, there's nothing wrong with closing the trade now and just taking this profit. Leaving the trade open exposes me to more risk. Because this is an ETF and not a stock, I feel okay about leaving this open a few more days to take advantage of time decay. So, I'm going to track it for a few more days and then probably get ready to close it sometime next week. Stay tuned for the next video. Thank you for watching.